what we're going to be talking about today, looking at interesting wedding themes, interesting wedding themes, um, Star Wars, of course, being one of those options since it is May the 4th, um, but we're going to be talking about just what a wedding theme is, first of all, and then some out of the ordinary, so not the normal stereotypical wedding themes that we see over and over again. We're going to look at some that are really different, unique, weird even, strange, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to be looking at um, looking at some of the options for you guys out there. I hope you enjoy it. So I think I would really like to be part of a wedding with an interesting wedding theme. You know, I like parties, I like personality, I like fun, and I think it would be very interesting to at least have one of these at some point in my career where the people just like went went bonkers when, you know, just com completely jumped in and immersed themselves in whatever the wedding theme was. Um, so maybe in the future, I'll get that. So what is, what's a wedding theme? It's basically like the overall topic or idea. Um, I wanted to say trend, but it's not really a trend. It's kind of what shows up throughout your wedding. So like everything is based off of this theme. So when you pick a theme, other things are going to be, uh, done based off it. And it could be a lot of different things. It could be your colors. So maybe if uh, you're uh, Ar you're an Arkansas Razorback fan and you wanted to have stuff, maybe red and white would be the colors because it's based off of that. Um, and then decorations. So maybe like all over the place, there's little hogs just randomly throughout the stuff. Um, cakes. I actually have seen plenty of cakes with Razorbacks on them. And I've seen plenty of other sports teams and related things like that. So that happens quite a bit. There's a lot of times where the cakes kind of have a theme. Um, you could even stylize your dress or the way the groomsmen are dressed or your bridesmaids based off of your theme. The music could reflect it, the food, the games, a lot of stuff. So that's the thing about a theme. It could really like guide everything about your wedding. It can. Now, some of the, the common wedding things, which I'm sure you've all heard of and I'm sure that you've seen, um, rustic vintage beach winter, like the winter wonderland, um, garden party fall. Those are like the ones that show up over and over again. And you know, guys, um, there's nothing wrong with these common wedding themes. There really isn't, you know, it's a lot easier when people have already done something. So, you know, you know what to expect and you already have these ideas like, you know, when you talk about a rustic wedding, everyone's already got this. Oh, that's what that's going to be. This is what I need to get. It's real easy to do something that someone else has already done. But the problem with that is you're not being original. You're not fully being yourself, possibly. Um, it's just like you're doing what everyone else has already done. And that's why we're talking about interesting wedding themes. So these are ones that you aren't going to see over and over again. Like I said, you may see one of these in your lifetime if you're lucky. Um, and you know, the majority of you aren't probably going to jump into this as much as I'm talking about it, but that's okay. So do you even need a wedding theme? You don't. I mean, most weddings probably don't have really an overall wedding theme. Um, they maybe like have a color scheme and that's maybe it. Um, but you're not like going to see at most weddings where like, oh, it's this type of wedding. I don't. I don't see that very often. And I would only suggest you do this like if it really is something you care about because it is going to be different. So don't like don't pick one of these interesting wedding themes if it's just like, yeah, things OK. It's all right. You know, no, it needs to be something like you are really passionate about and you really, really care about because, I mean, you're basing your entire wedding kind of off of this theme. So it better be something you freaking love. Okay, so these are the general topics um, for the interesting wedding themes that we're going to go over. We're going to talk about different time periods. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about films and books. We're going to talk about hobbies and then fun stuff from your childhood. And we'll go through each one of those, and I've got plenty of examples for each one. 
So let's start with time periods. Oh my gosh, I'm like thinking how old I am. We're we're now in 2020s. So I guess you could even do like a 2000s. Anyway, so the the cool thing about the different decades is when you think back on a decade, there's like this overall feeling, there's overall idea of what that decade kind of represents. And it can be really fun, you know, for the people that lived through it to go back and relive through it or for the people that weren't alive to experience. Um, so they had no idea what it's like, but it's like, oh, we're getting to do something from the past. We get to do that. So that is kind of cool. So some general ones that I came up with I thought would be interesting, like a Western um, we still have people that, you know, kind of are cowboyish or country, but I'm talking about like real Western, like aiming for like way back in the day, you know, like uh, Silver Dollar City or like when you get to dress up in those outfits for a photo, like going like that. That's what I'm talking about for the Western. Um, the the 20s, you know, the Gatsby style, the really cool the women were wearing those really cool dresses, a lot of dancing, you know, just a big party atmosphere. The 50s, when I think about the 50s, I think of the Happy Day show, um, you know, people wearing leather jackets. And uh, it also reminds me, you know, of uh, The Outsiders, which I'm pretty sure that book takes place in the same time period with the greasers and everything. Um, 70s, you know, you're getting into your hippies and your peace and love and lots of colors and all those type things. So when you think of each one of these time periods, there's definitely certain feelings and thoughts and stuff that goes with it. And it would just kind of be fun to like pick one that you really loved and then like go for that. All right, music. Um, I know a lot of us love music. I love music. I don't know if I love it to the degree that some people do. Um, I was talking to a couple last night and they like, before COVID hit, they were going to like a concert every other weekend, they said, which was crazy. So some people really love music. I know I've done photo shoots that uh, kind of like engagement shoots that kind of incorporated people's love for music into it. So it could be a certain band. It could be a certain era. Um, but again, it needs to be something you have a deep connection with, like something about their music really connects with you. Like uh, they're, you know, what they're trying, like their overall meaning that they're trying to get across or whatever. So some general things you could think about. Disco. The Beatles, Elvis, you know, all those people are really well known and have a lot of good hits. And then I randomly threw Hannah Montana in there just to be fun. Um, like maybe someone growing up as a kid really loved Hannah Montana. Um, that would be a in very interesting wedding theme if you kind of kept using Hannah Montana throughout. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that one. But anyway, um, the other ones I think people would definitely get into a little bit more. I mean, the, everyone, hopefully everyone loves the Beatles. I know everyone doesn't, but yeah. Now, this is my area. This is what I would go nuts over, like TV, movies, books, um, entertainment, all that creative stuff. I love that. Um, I definitely would be all about this if I could. Um, and so, you know, it's a big part of our culture. People love this stuff. I mean, there's some people that go and dress up <laughs> as characters all the time. We have theme parks with like entire sections like we have that like I know Harry Potter has a big thing now and a lot of the Star Wars has their own stuff. Um, so like people love this stuff and people connect with it. So some of the ones that popped up in my head, as I already said, Harry Potter, Star Wars, which we've already been talking about today. Um, Game of Thrones, which Game of Thrones would be, I don't know, for a wedding, it might be a little too much because there's a lot of bad things that happen in that show. But uh, again, I mean, it was like the most popular TV show for like seven, eight years or how many ever seasons there were. And uh, people love that. And again, you're dressing up in some kind of old outfits, which might be kind of neat. Marvel has become big. You know, a lot of people, there's so many different superheroes in the Marvel universe that now have TV shows and movies. Um, so you could definitely connect something with that. And I don't know, you know, I don't know where I would fall in any of these. Um, I'd have to think about like what I would go with if I were to pick something from this. There's definitely plenty, plenty of things I love that are out there. Um, but I don't know what I would do if I was 
redoing my wedding, it'd probably be something from this section if I went crazy with it. But off the top of my head, I, I don't know what I would pick. I don't know. Hobbies. So your wedding is about you two. It's about who you are, what you like, what's what kind of your personalities. And, you know, using your hobbies, you can kind of share that with people. Um, and most likely a lot of your friends, your guests also like the same type of hobbies because I mean, a lot of times people connect over hobbies. So, uh, I remember a wedding I did back last October. Um, the groom is like a major cyclist and all of his groomsmen, or at least almost, I think all of them were also cyclists. Um, and the bride was a big golfer. So they ended up using like they got this custom design. It was like uh, a guy on, I'm trying to remember, a guy on the bike and the girl, maybe, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it blended both of those hobbies together. And that was kind of like their logo for the day. It was on the top of their cake. It was on cups. It was on napkins, I believe. And so they kind of showed their hobbies off. Um, for my For my wedding, my groom's cake was actually uh, a poker, like, poker themed wedding cake for the groom um so yeah so that'd be another thing so like really fun stuff could you imagine having a wedding like a casino themed wedding that would be so much fun oh my gosh you could have like tables and different things and prizes um escape rooms are now big i don't know how you would actually incorporate that into a wedding but it could be kind of interesting um i was also thinking kind of like a murder mystery type thing you know how they have those murder mystery dinner things um board games i actually talked to a bride once who was going to have a board game themed wedding and i thought that was awesome and there's some other random things that i thought of off the top of my head just any other activities you have that could be interesting and that's the thing about hobbies you know we all have so many different hobbies and people may know that you're into it they may not but it is a chance to kind of share and you know express what it is you love doing and you know your wedding is a good time for that Oh, childhood, you know, we all, all of us that are old, like myself, we look back at our childhood and we're like, oh, I remember that. That was so awesome. Oh, I I wish I could go back to those days, whatever. And we have just these fond memories of things from our childhood. Um, So you could always incorporate that kind of into, you know, um, your wedding theme. So the cool thing is it'd be very different for each person, depending on how old they were like how old they are when they grew up people will have different things they connected to and so like for a lot of people a lot of females it might be like the fairy tales fairy tale type wedding and disney princess wedding um which i know i've it wasn't super obvious but one wedding i did a few years ago was a beauty and the beast themed wedding um i really like this next idea like a vintage circus like maybe a, one of your best memories as a child was going to the circus with your family and, you know, seeing all the, the high wire acts and the elephants and all the cool stuff. Um, and maybe you just want to kind of recreate that somehow. Um, or maybe like, I don't know, uh, in my mind, I think of, again, this kind of goes with Disney is like the big glamorous ball that everyone, they get the big dresses and they all go to the ball. Um I think that would be kind of interesting. And, you know, it's just fun thinking about your childhood. So maybe you go and you get a bunch of, like, toys from your childhood. Like, mine would be, like, those 80s, 90s toys. So, like, Slinky, um, Ninja Turtles, Transformers, um, G.I. Joes. What else did I play with? Just a bunch of that stuff. And you could kind of mix that in there as well. All right, now here's the big here's the big important thing to get with this guys, and I should have probably mentioned this at the beginning, but you can go and do as much or as little as you want with your wedding theme. Like I said, you can go over the top and like just be extreme about it and like make all your guests dress a certain way and show up and do certain things. Um or it can be something very small, like I said, maybe Maybe it's just a few decorations here and there. Maybe it's just the cakes and like the cups. Um, you get to choose how much of you want to base off of your theme and like actually show it off. 
Um, but the big thing is that I, I I like it when people have personality. I like it when their weddings show that off and it actually like fits with who they are. And it gives people like a connection like, oh, I love that too. I remember that. Oh, that was awesome. And, you know, it, it makes your wedding separate from all the other weddings out there because most people are not doing this. Most people are just doing the standard wedding and you'll forget after you've been to a few of them, you're like, oh, that was, that was just the same as all the other ones. But I promise you, if you throw a little bit of personality and a wedding theme in there, you know, people will not forget your wedding. They will love it. They will have fun and they'll remember it and talk about it for a long time. All right. So again, guys, I'm not trying to convince you to do something crazy with your wedding. Um, but with it being May the 4th, May the 4th we be with you. Um, I just got the idea to talk about some different wedding themes and what kind of could be cool and what options there are out there. Um, and again, these are just a few of them. Like this is just stuff I came up with, I don't know, probably within 30 minutes or so. So, I mean, there's definitely a ton of other options out there. And again, you can go with the common stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you can do some of these interesting things or you can choose to do nothing. That's always an option as well. Just have a normal wedding. There's nothing wrong with any of it. Um, but I always want to make sure that you guys know the options, you know things that are out there, because you can't choose to do something if you don't know it exists, right? All right. So that is it for today. Tomorrow is actual, actually Cinco de Mayo, so it's another kind of holiday. Um if you guys have any questions about these uh, interesting wedding themes, or if you plan on doing one, I would love to hear about that. That would be awesome to hear what you've got planned and how you plan on showing that off. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else important to tell you guys. I can't think of anything. But I will be back again next week with another video. I will be uh, posting more and more things. If you guys need help, if you need help, or if this has just been helpful, I always, any feedback I can get, I would love that, guys. Um, but, guys, as always, and I'm going to keep trying to say this over and over again, um, my big belief is laugh, love, repeat. Do those things, focus on that, and you're going to have a very exciting, fun wedding. Um, the stress will be gone. Don't worry about anything. Just focus on laughing with the people you love, loving them hard, and then just do that over and over again. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.